Yeah, hi there, Bruce from Safari. We're on this beautiful Maritimo 55 with Nick. Hi, Nick. How are you going? And Murray, the owner. Hi there, how are you? Now, Murray's a bit modest, but Murray is a former world champion at uh, sailing. Murray, tell us a little bit about your story. Won a quarter ton championship in a boat that I helped design and uh, made the sails for. And, and then I started doing some long races, throughout, did four Around the world races, Volvos, Whitbread, then Volvos. Incredible. As navigator. So now you're on a stink boat from a rag and stick. Right? So, Welcome. And what are you going to do in this uh, Maritimo now? Well, I've upgraded all, all brand new um, electronics here, all Simrad, uh, you know, all the new Victron lithium. I'm not quite sure what you call it. Yeah, I'd yeah. call it a voltage sensitive relay, but yeah. I know it's more upmarket than that that you've done. So when we're motoring for 10 hours of a day going south, we, uh, we're charging the house batteries from the start batteries. And uh, so, you know, I'm just going to, we're going to go cruising and have fun as, and have fun until, until I can't go boating anymore. <laughs> Very good. All righty. Well, Nick's done the install on the boat and let's go and fire up the engines. We'll go and have a look at the display down here and... Uh, Let's have a look down here. So you can see standard uh, Victron display here. And uh, let's fire up Murray if we can. What you'll see is we've got a delay. I've set the delay here at 15 seconds each side. So we're pulling 422 watts in DC power. And that's starting to decrease down. It'll drop away. So you see here we're doing around 1200 watts now. And that's a net number and we've got 400 going out. It's doing about 15, 1600 watts at the moment and we're still just in idle. Um, and down in the engine room of a 55 foot Marantimo, which as you can see here, a couple of decent Cummins engines here. Um, but of course it's uh, all the blue and what we've got in here is uh, four of the uh, 24 volt batteries and these are 200 amps each at 24 volts. Four of those together, so we've got 10,000 watt hours in there. That's the equivalent eight of the uh, 12 watt batteries at 200 amps. And uh, hooked up on the end here is what's called a Lynx BMS shunt. And uh, we've got uh, uh, we've got a smart battery protect there and the other smart battery protect there, so that when the Lynx BMS shunt says that the batteries are full or they're low and to stop discharge, it sends out a signal to this, these two devices here and they stop discharging. And then we're running all this on the can. There's quite a lot of devices in this uh, boat on the can. We've got a Moly Plus 24, uh, 5,000 watt. And then we've added two of the Safari alternator controllers over here that you can see. And they're both on the can. And then we're running off these 24 volt alternators. Now we modified these, very simple to do. We took the cover off and just expose the connections at the back so that we can externally regulate them, which is what we're doing down there. And for those that like a little bit of detail, you'll see the Wagos, I've got all lined up down there and they're all plugged in and uh, Nick has done all this. And we've got the back here too, you can see their Skylar eyes, they're also on the CAN bus. Uh, they're charging the start batteries at uh, 24 volts while we're on shore power. And uh, let's go. About 15, 1600 watts at the moment, and we're still just in idle, uh, I've got to say. How good's that?